Hi, it's Craig Metrich from VideoCelebrityNews.com and as you can see I've got my amazing, fantastic, talented assistant and assistant. race car driver <laughs> Dion Jobe. He's not Italiano, we welcome him here to Cape Town, South Africa. On a serious note, Dion, thank you for your time. Earlier on we shared a live interview on Facebook.com live interview <laughs> forward slash Metro Witch so you can go and watch that. It was good fun. We had a lot of people that interact with us. And next up, we're going to talk about what? You. Yeah, me? Oh, you. we're no. not, man. I'm just the guy hosting it. My name is Craig Metrus. Oh, yeah, we What's about your me? name? Do you know your name? Woo. He doesn't even know his name. Dion Jobe. Dion, welcome. Let's get serious. I'm getting the hang of this. Eh? You're getting the hang of it. Yeah. Right? It's good fun. I told you it'd be good fun. He's yeah. like, nah, I can't attend this thing. I said, it's good fun. I'm moving the camera, but don't worry about it. It's called vlogging. For the people watching for the first time, I wear the sunglasses so I can interact with the people online. And my eyes are great. So, Dion, watch this. Hey, check it. You put your eyes, yeah? That's it. And then people can see your eyes. Okay, you might get a... You don't need a date. You know? I'm a no. single act, so I might need right. a date from that. Okay, questions. You are a superstar race car driver. You do yeah. testing. Yeah. You're in the business still. I want to go back to the beginning of the path of how you started to shine your talent. But to guide you there, different to the live interview, I want to share with our audience what are the skills you've acquired that have helped you with racing and business. Okay, so the question, what are the skills you've acquired through your racing that's, that's helped you in the business? Yeah. Like, like I'm helping you, urgency would be one in my mind. Energy would be another one. Yeah. Uh, a two-way communication, like with the pit crew, you'd need that. Mm. So question, what skills have you acquired that you can link between being a champion race car driver and business? Well, so the skill on the track is not a, is not enough. The the actual technical skill. So when you have a business, you're also skilled at certain things. Right. Um, and then to run a business, you need to get those skills translated into you know. So so you might be a fast racing driver, but you still have to persuade a team to let you drive the exactly, car, how to exactly. pay you, you've got to do the invoicing, whatever. Otherwise, you can't make a career of it. Or run interpersonal skills responses or whatever so it's similar in business so maybe you know a certain technical skill um, you have to translate that into business is yeah like I mean marketing itself like if I yeah. think from a race car point of view you know part of the sponsorship is getting marketing and getting exposure getting fans following you yeah. you know with social media now obviously people want, are into likes and sharing and I think for me if, know, I, so if I you know like you said about marketing and so on it's sometimes very hard to sell yourself so I think if I had my career over, um, although we all agreed we don't want to yeah, you don't want to rewrite on something. If I personally had except my career wins, over, sorry, except the wins, sorry, I'm very except the wins. Eh? Yeah, I probably <laughs> rerun on all the wins. I probably would have had somebody market me yes. rather than um, trying to do something because there's a there's a sense of you know maybe embarrassment or whatever about it. So it's a similar in business. Maybe you, you sometimes I think in my business I. It's good that somebody else is also selling, not just me. Yes, correct. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, just to come in there, uh, part of my intro, I'm a business coach and an inspirational speaker. I do sales coaching, customer care coaching. Motor industry has been good to me. That's another reason why I'm quite excited to, you know, share some time with you. Yeah. Is because, you know, the, the perception might be that there's not a professionalism. I'm telling you, it is not an easy industry from a selling point of view, a marketing point of view, the manufacturers, the service, the support, uh, pleasing the clients. You know, and technology has also changed the dynamics yeah. because now we go online. Yeah. You YouTube it. Well, I tell you, you know, it's my, changed. Eh? My experience, I sold cars long ago. Yeah. In the late eighties, actually. That's long. And then I stopped <laughs> uh, for a used car dealer, and okay. I stopped um, obviously selling cars. And then uh, my business now is is to work for motor companies, and I interact a lot yeah. with car dealerships. Yeah. And I'm right. telling you now, when you're a dealer principal of a of a dealership, you're yeah. a serious bloke. Yeah. They, they're not uh, there to diddle people and whatever. They're no there to make worries. serious business. And um, the, all of them, yeah. all of them operate at a very Well, you know, level. part of, I mean, we, we, when we met initially, I was a dealer principal for Miko That's Group. Right. So remember, shout yeah. out to Eric Scoble and Davi Craner, really yeah, good they guys. They made a great success. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. I mean, but and Davi actually was one of my mentors. You can't have amazing, that kind amazing. of success if you... Um, you know, fleecing people all the time. You, you know, you, yeah. you, that's only short term. Correct. You will go Correct. out of business. So if you want to build a, 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 a brand uh, um, uh, as a And long term, you want long term sustainability. You, you have to get comeback uh, all the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 
So let's just go with a few more questions to set the tone for the rest of the interview. I really want to extract the link between business and you being a champion race car driver. Okay. Okay, apart from the podiums, what I picked up is the fact that you've got to have that tenacity and that can do and that never give up. Because, you know, just on the touring car side, you had 102, right, attempts of which you did win and you had a ratio of 11.8%. Now, by the way, for those that think that's low, it's actually damn good. Now, hang on, seriously. Yeah. On a business ratio, if you had a closing ratio of 10%, you'd be elated and delighted. So if you saw a thousand clients and you got a hundred deals, you'd be super delighted. Yeah. So from a racing point of view, I think that stat is maybe a little bit deceiving because it sounds low, but it's not. It's actually very, very good. And that's only in the one format. Mm. So my question is, let's go to the next level. What is the attitude of a race car driver linked to, let's say, the attitude of an entrepreneur? What do you think it is? What is your well, experience? Well, I think, I think a successful racing car driver, the, 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 the top blokes are very intelligent. Um, they've got a, obviously a, a tremendous skill and they've got a, a you know, good uh, um, level of dealing with people. So, but what they also have is, um, is a very strong attitude, um, um, uh, a belief in themselves and... and um, well, I'm going to be a bit rude, but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't Kids might watch. But if you, if you read, if you read Sorrow for the Mavis book, which was written by... Oh, uh, you're a crow team. That's a good move, right? No, no. In the book, in the book they, they develop on his alter ego called Supervan. Oh, which is, yes, Which yes, is yes. the ultimate racing driver and is willing to do anything in a race right. to win a race. Yeah. So, um, so he can be so soft and gentle off the track, but when be, he's on the track, he's, 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 he's wild. Yeah. What are the words I was looking for is ruthlessness. You need a certain okay. amount of ruthlessness to be successful. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, yeah. So Look, uh, obviously I, get, right I, get, to, I yeah. get that, this, uh, this ruthlessness. I actually get that. You know, is... It I, doesn't mean that it's not part of your character. I don't mean dishonest. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Ruthless yeah. means pl uh, doing the sport, yes. going wild within the sport's rules. Am I right? Correct. It's not like uh, you know taking sport, somebody off the track. Sport has you know? rules, written rules, and it yeah. also has unwritten rules. <laughs> yeah. And when you cross okay. the unwritten rules, you you actually upset people more I get than it. when you. Um, so so let's call it in cycling. If the yellow jersey. Uh, stops, yes. then the then the other guys stop too and wait for him. That okay, kind of I'm thing. With you, I'm with um, you. Um, those are unwritten rules. Yeah. Um, and when you break them, then the peloton gets more upset with you than say when you. Okay, so that's so that whole team so is in motor racing. In there, are also, yeah? there are also rules and rules, um, and in certain and in certain formula you can get away with certain things, and in others you can't. Okay. So so. Um, yeah. So in business, I'm assuming it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah? definitely. So you've got to have, you've got to have a, a whole lot of different attributes. Okay, and let's go with some of them. Is you're right. You need to be have a flair. Yeah. You, you need, need to have, be dynamic. Yeah. You need a talent. But so. you need to be yeah. ethical. Yeah. I tell you, because yeah. if you're not ethical, you will not be around for a long time. My little but business, then how many top uh, businessmen are there actually? They're not that many. And it's the same. Yeah, if you look at the top tier, you're yeah, right. It's Worldwide, same, even, if you look at the top exactly. tier. Exactly. So it's the same as top racing drivers. But there are a lot of other people who are taking part in motor racing and who enjoy it and so on and motivate themselves to do whatever, whatever. So if you, if you um, can motivate yourself every day to go to work and do your best there and, and, and um, you know, do the job you're being paid for or whatever, yeah. the deal, yeah. because there's a deal between an employer and an employee Absolutely. what I'm going to do for Correct. you for the 10 grand 20 yeah. grand 30 grand 100 grand that I yeah. earn yeah. and you should do that deal and then and you're getting a yeah. car you're getting a drive you're getting a whole lot of uh, different well, types of driver, assets the, as an example the top racing driver you know? is totally self-motivated yeah. he doesn't he, he so <laughs> let me explain that to in business terminology <laughs> okay? because we always have this debate about motivation inspiration and yeah. energy and I always you know my attitude is you do need motivation. That can be from me looking at somebody else and going, wow, they really are doing a phenomenal job. And then what happens, you internalize the motivation and you are inspired. And then you energize. And then you're driven. And then you're enthusiastic. Mm. And then you're unstoppable. But the real legends go on to motivate others, mm. coach others, mm. uplift others, okay. share with others, even share their secrets, eh? Because they got to a place of being not insecure, yes. not arrogant. That's yes. the other side of it. They've become humbly, humbly secure mm. and humbly confident. Yeah. 
And you, do you agree? Yeah, we're yeah, agreeing. Yeah. Are we agreeing yeah, on yeah. Hey, yeah, I've got this so. on camera. We actually <laughs> agreed. <laughs> yeah. All right, are we running out of time? John, you've been a superstar, man. I really appreciate the interview together. I want to wrap up on a high and a positive note. Have you traveled extensively? Have you been anywhere across the world? Yeah. You have, eh? Yeah. And what do you think about Cape Town, South Africa, the racing circuit, the culture, the camaraderie? I mean, do you see good stuff? About South Africa. About us. South well, Africa, the I, people, the vibe. I'm in Cape Town. Vibe. I've been all over the world. Yeah. And I grew up in Cape Town. And for me, the Western Cape. Yeah. yeah. So Cape Town and the Western Cape is the best place in the whole world to live. And I'm, I really think we should succeed from South Africa yeah. and become a separate republic. <laughs> <laughs> That's just his opinion, eh? No, no, no. So it's terms it's and conditions <laughs> apply. Let's just show everybody what you mean. Let's just stand up together. Okay, slowly watch your knees. There we go. All right. So my name is Craig Mitchell. This is for VideoCelebrityNews.com. And I've got a race car driver, superstar legend, Dion Jaber with me. Dion, just stand up on the step here yep. together. We don't trip. Are you going to look at Cape Town everybody. Let you share them so they can see what you're talking about. There we go, boy. All internationals worldwide. We want them to come visit us. The lighting will affect it. Don't worry about that. It's a bit of a it's foggy, foggy too, day. So we're actually see great. The you know something? We're the best when the lighting goes off our funny faces. Eh? But our smiles make it worthwhile. Yeah. So that's my wrap-up and conclusion. Share the love.